Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. I finally finished my wood colour brush pack for Art Rage 6. I have my watercolour brushes selected, the Steve Elliott Art watercolour pack. I've now got 20 brushes because I've added two pencils. So I'm going to start with a 6B and a, and a dark. And I'm going to um, try and produce a delicate little watercolour of a painting I've actually done before. Uh, but I did it in um, oils. So I'm just going to try it. In, uh, in watercolour and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the drawing I don't think no idea how this is going to work just going to be a really loose delicate little painting That's my plan anyway. So as you can see, I'm, um, I've got some very loose sketching going off here. This isn't about uh, detail. It's about a style and a mood of uh, getting this watercolor thing going off. So another flower there. I suppose I kind of want to um, fill the canvas with flowers, really, as best as I can. Put this vase in. This is going to be interesting to see how this works. Maybe put another flower in there. I'm just going to um, move that over a bit. Just center it a little bit. There we go, that'll do. That's my uh, sketch layer. So I'm going to lock that create a new layer and then let's get in with the colors I'm actually going to put the colors no I'm going to leave them on the top actually I was going to put them underneath the pencil but now I've changed my mind and I'm going in with my big wet in wet brush I suppose first of all actually um, I need to make sure I've got the right canvas uh, let's see I want um, watercolor paper and if I zoom in is it looking like watercolor paper it's not let's just up the intensity a bit what's going on here why have I not got oh there we are I can see it now I'm going to take the grain size down a bit that's a bit too severe It's a nice watercolour paper. Yeah, it's important that you get the paper right. Um, otherwise, it won't look like a watercolour, I don't think. So, anyway, <clears throat> let's get the background in. I've got this wet on wet, this big brush going off. And I want a kind of a pinky colour for this background, I think. And you can see you've got this... In fact, you know what? I'm just wondering if I should use the um, multi-loaded brush. Make it a bit bigger. Because it just varies the colour a little bit.
I think I need to go back to the uh, to my brush is faster and then I can just um, change the color slightly Now I'm I'm letting it bleed over the edges because that's fine. Um, I can make use of that. So I'm liking that. Uh, let's get these purples in. I want some really strong purples. I'm thinking that it's too dark. I, I, I want more vibrant color than that. Because with watercolor, you are working from your darkest to your lightest color. Did I say lightest to darkest? Because that's what I meant to say if I didn't. So I can go over these with darkest colors. Bring it to a, a green. Now I'm using, oh, let's undo that. You, you notice that that brush, when I dragged it down, it pulled the purple down. So if I go the other way and push it up, it's like the green is bleeding into that purple that's what we're after that's the kind of effect we're after but where's all my whites gone where's all the whites gone if I choose um, a glazing round brush yeah that will do and then set it to erase mode zoom in a little bit I can go back in take the brush size down somewhat And I can just lift out these petals. I'm tempted to have a look what they look like. I want to. I want to wait a little bit. Um, zoom out so I'm liking it I am liking it and we've got a big flower here I don't even know if I drew it in, but I can't see it now. I think I did. Yes, it's under there somewhere. Let's put the pencil layer on the top. That's better. Um, I'll put it on the top. Oh. Working on the wrong layer.
So the thing I've learned here is keep your drawing on the top and then if you want move it to the bottom later because you can't see what you're doing. Uh, I'm tempted to put a few more petals in. Do I like that? Yes, I do actually. Get a few of these details in the uh, bars as well. So this is the um, glazing round brush I'm using with the eraser on it. I like that. New layer. So let's think about the shadows on uh, these little white flowers now. So I'm kind of going in with a, a creamy colour, I guess. Oh, I've still got it on a raise. Let's take a look at a raise. And I could go and pop them in. So, for example, see these petals are I'm wondering, you know what I might do sort of instead of Painted them individually, put them in as a wash and put this layer underneath that layer like that. And then I can get them in as a delicate wash. Like that. Yeah, that's cool. And then I can uh, go back to my glazing brush again. Where did I put it? Glazing round and choose a razor. I'm just going to tidy up where I've gone into these white petals. Around the edge there. A bit smaller, brush a bit smaller. Oops, too small. There we go. I am liking that. What now? Um, darker greens, I think. Another new layer, pop that one there. I should really be na naming these layers, but hey ho. Uh, I'm gonna go, um, glazing what do? That might be nice. Yeah, glazing mop, just to add some, Colour in here. Oops, too much. Again, I'm going to be using the uh, this this brush would be really cool for trees. I'll be using the eraser again in a minute. If I'd have painted those leaves in white, I wouldn't have to keep 
cutting around them. And brush a little bit smaller. I like this brush. This is the glazing mop. It's going with purple. Like that a bit there. Oh, nice, nice. Is that a bit too? I've not done the um, foreground, have I? Oh, I like that. I'm going to use that for the side of this as well. For the vase. Shrinking the brush down a little bit. Make it big again. Yeah, I like it. Right, now, back to my mop. Uh, glazing round. So I'm not demoing every single brush because although there's 20 brushes in this kit, they're, they're designed so that you can use them um, to create different style watercolours. So this one's obviously a wet in wet uh, technique. But you might want to be doing um, a glazing technique where you're not using wet in wet at all. So in that case, you would use another uh, set of brushes. So the idea is it gives you the option to um, to paint in different styles. I suppose the nice thing about using brushes like this compared to say Rebel is you've got complete control over what effects you are going to get. It's um, you're not relying on the software to do something random. Although that kind of does take away from the magic of watercolour because watercolour is all about randomness. Now these are way too white, but I'm gonna put another layer underneath because watercolour is all about painting in layers, to be honest. So I'm gonna create another layer, but I'm gonna put it right at the bottom actually. And I'm gonna choose a, uh, a cream colour. I'm going back to the glazing mop because I love that. And that just sort of knocks those down a little bit. I can even um, just put a few, just a few tiny highlights. we go uh, is it that one this is where I should I should have really um, named the layers A 
putting in a few wispy. I like it, I like it. I've got to find out where it might be there. I just want to take some of this um, yellow out. I don't know what layer it's on. Oh, that's it. There. Um, I'm just going to choose a little bit of blue and going to the flowers. I'm just sort of putting a few shadows. Center of those stems. And I'm using the glazing round brush. Because it's a glazing brush, I can keep going over it. And you know what? I think that's it. I think that's a nice little watercolour illustrating how to use these brushes. Now, you can get these brushes. Uh, they are available on my website. I'll put a link in the description below. There's going to be a small charge uh, just to help me out so I can buy um, in new apps and upgrade equipment and things like that. So it helps the channel out, as it were. So if you like them, I hope you will... Uh, get along there and um, purchase a set and if not that's fine I'm cool with that but um, if you've liked the video anyway oh, I've just undone something uh, if you've liked the video please give me a thumbs up it helps out the algorithms and all that kind of stuff and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.